Okay, there we are, the S4, also a nice phone, also gonna give it Lineage OS, because I really love the work of Lineage OS, taking out the card there, popping in this one, so, and I think we should have twerk on this thing, I'm not even sure, let's turn it on, volume up, home, and the power. As soon as we see the logo, we let go, and we also see a little blue there on top, means that we're gonna go into recovery. So let's see what kind of recovery we have on this phone. We have the twerp recovery, and that is also kind of required, okay? If you don't have twerp, clock, if you still have clockwork mod, uh, you will be able to install Lineage OS, but you will not be able to uh, root it. So that will kind of be a little bit annoying for you, especially if you also use to, you know, you want to do uh, plug iOS mod things, then you must be rooted. Okay. So first we're going to do a wipe. We're going to do advanced wipe. I want to wipe catch internal storage data system Dalvik. Okay. All these things I want to, I want to kind of empty. Also the internal storage. So I will have the maximum uh, amount of space available for Android and for stuff that I want to do. And not a lot of crap that was on the phone already. So if you're going to do this, you're going to lose each and every file that was on the phone. Okay. You must understand that. This is a clean install. I'm all doing clean installs. Okay, so now we're gonna go back, 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 and we say install. Select storage, micro SD card. Okay, so now we must look. For this phone, you need Lineage OS, the GF, what is it? GFL Tex. That's what you need for this phone. And no other file, otherwise you're gonna break it, okay? So this is the right lineage file. And knowing that lineage is working on this phone, it means that everything also works. Eh? Cam, video recording, all the things work. So you won't have a system that is, is, is kind of sucking around. Because that would be kind of sad to have some ROM. It runs. You're on a higher Android, but your cam doesn't work or something else is not functioning. We do have some MTP crashes and I think we're going to keep those uh, for now until uh, these guys fixed it. But don't worry about it. These MTP crashes, they, they don't mean anything. It's just a click and it's gone. Okay, these two red lines is saying E or no one command uh, log. But it installed fine. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna install the Puck iOS 5 or 7 mod. And because we have a little bit more experience now, we're gonna immediately root the device. And everything is done. So uh, if we're gonna reboot system, then we won't have no uh, problems with root anymore. It will be rooted and everything will work out of the box. So let me put it here for you, if it wants to stand. And then I'm gonna be right back. Mm -hmm. There we are. Beautiful language, English. Next. Next, skip. Skip anyway. Skip. Reduce battery. Enable privacy mode. Make sure that you 
leave this on eh? allow uh, where was it help improve lineage os leave that on please thank you then they, these guys can improve a bit don't worry they will not read your your messages just once so we have exactly the same little uh, glitches with the eye control but for the rest it seems to work fine everything uh, we're gonna go all the way down about the phone 712 uh, build number we're gonna tap it until we get developers options we go to developers options uh, what is this cancel um, advanced restart of course and root access apps and adb okay we could also say apps only um, and we're gonna go back and see if it's really if we really have root just once and we look for our firewall yes we have root enabled we are fully rooted we can turn on our firewall fantastic fantastic this is really this makes me happy so the s4 is also fully rooted and uh, i can go do all my little things this will also ask for root permission fantastic fantastic beautiful and you can see the system is completely clean we wiped the internal drive so this is only this android and the whatever it's it's kind of using so this is kind of very very cool okay so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna pimp my system real fast um i'm gonna go to system because i installed uh, the ios mod so i'm gonna hit system after i got root access go to app and i showed it in all my videos already but i'm showing it again because you never know if somebody did not watch my previous video then in fact yeah i must send them to go watch that video it's, it's kind of it takes longer i can better show it that you you get the, the whole thing in in every video especially pukrom users pukrom family okay so i added my launcher there are two things that need to be fixed in the pukrom that is the launcher the eye control here it is it's called q call copy home I do that to my SD card and do download. You see that? I hope it's. And I paste it in download. And there's one more app that I need to fix. And that is um, my scanner radio and my ATC radio for my friends that love to listen to that as well from uh, Broad Broadcastify. So all credits to Broadcastify for that uh, beautiful app that is also now adapted in the puck ios mod and there it is so i'm gonna install them real fast settings we must select unknown sources that it's okay to install from unknown sources and there we go and we just install And the app is installed. We install QCall. Install. Done. And we install the Puck iOS launcher. To all. Install. And we can now open it. The eye control has a little problem. We can now select the eye launcher as the default launcher. And hit the home one more time and hit always. So it will always whenever you, you know. Okay, so this works. Um, we had a problem with the eye control, but that, that these errors will, will not come anymore. After we started, we turn it off and we start it again. And then we personalize all the way down here you will see control center and then just 
turn off the toggle float button go here and select center and in fact they selected this but this i find it a little bit white i think like this is good that it's completely in the center so now we have that fixed okay so that is uh, effects the only thing that need to be fixed of course the boot animation this will also ask for root um, for 80 by 800 you see that it asks for root we can give root but we could also not give root it doesn't matter because effect it will not be able to install the boot animation you will have to do it yourself but you root it so you can do it yourself i'm gonna go for the gold because this is my these are my golden my golden samsung's i maximize the screen build and preview make sure that you that you rename it hit backwards until you get to boot animation until you see only boot animation as the name and then you say build okay if you're gonna hit install animation you will get an error you see that error installing blah 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 don't worry about it go home go to your root browser click home go to sd card go to boot box go to factory and there is the boot animation long press copy go home go to system go to media and paste yes you see now the boot animation is fixed um yeah only the the icons i must change not the title the icons change icon make sure you always go via gallery to that folder otherwise it will not work it will say wrong file change icon via gallery you go to the folder the picture folder that you found in 6.1 with these icons and you select your camera you will have to do the browser change icon gallery pictures safari you see that uh, and then we had i think that was it oh yeah um here you see this is square it's not nice and round so we need to fix the the apple icon gallery go to the picture folder and i have the icon there for you you see that now it's nice and round i think we have everything now camera the browser yes that's it so let's see if the compass works no the compass is not working due limitations blah 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 unfortunately the compass is not working you you guys so maybe it will work for you on some of my uh, uh, phones it does work but as you could see on the Samsung S4 mini and on this one in no worky worky so we don't have no radio here I see so maybe we could install some radio because there is a radio hardware in here I think but it works it's good so let's do a reboot and see if everything went right let's do a full reboot and see how that looks there we go and all the all the batteries were kind of kind of full so I will also be able to monitor uh, the battery life of these uh, devices although I think that my battery lives will be even better if they were already good and there you can see the 
golden apple is also uh, now on this Samsung S4 Gold. And for those wondering, this was sprayed with very nice paint that you can get at the action for $1.99. So there we go. It works really beautiful. So yeah, only thing that we still need to turn on and that is, I thought that it was not available. I thought it was not installed. I was like, what? So there we go. Um, give it a nice background color there, blue. Boom, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think it is 100%. And this is it. It works uh, S4, S4 mini, S3 and S5. All work fine with uh, Lineage OS and with the Puck RS mode.